So guys, there's not gonna be any keywording in this. There's not gonna be any clickbait. I'm not gonna try and grow my YouTube from this video. This is literally just gonna be me brain dumping and getting some of my thoughts out. Now I try to stay as transparent on here as possible. I feel as though the problem is for other people, myself included, is once you get to a decent level of success or people start to expect success from you, you just wanna perpetuate that cycle as much as possible. So coming back to reality and talking about some of the trials and tribulations, when you're in the moment, it can be very, very hard. So basically this video is really just a message to anyone who is about to achieve their goal has achieved their goal. Because really in your journey, you have point A, which is where I was at around a year ago, which is just, you don't have any of the shit that you want. You don't have any of the level of success you want. And then you have point B, which is I, I went through this path, this journey, and I, I actually achieved it. And the problem with point B is it can be very, very hollow and you can be left wondering what's left. Now, me personally, I've yet to achieve very much in my life, but in terms of everything that I could possibly want, I have it. I've got a business with a low overhead, a lot of flexibility. It, it's pretty much just pure profit. I get to control my own schedule. I get to travel a lot. I have an incredible social life. I have just really fun, amazing, beautiful people around me. I have amazing mentors. I have amazing knowledge around me. I'm constantly being exposed to new stuff. So one of the things that I really do want you guys to realize is that us as humans, we're not made to do more than we have to. We're not here to thrive. We're here to survive. So one common thing within the self-help industry is anyone who you know reads a book or goes to the gym or goes to a seminar they always seem to feel entitled they all seem to feel above someone who's just relaxing and enjoying their life I look at anyone who's just got a typical nine-to-five married settled and I look at that life with respect because that person is just doing all they know best which is just which is just breathing coasting through life which at the end of the day is what we're meant to do, no matter what any of your motivational, inspirational books tell you. So look, as I said, the problem is once you get to a lifestyle you're very happy with, it's very easy to get comfortable. And this is something I realized within the last 45 days, as I've gotten pretty much everything that I've kind of ever really wanted, pretty much everything to make a very comfortable plus more lifestyle i have at this point and the problem with that is you just get complacent you forget what actually brought you to success in the first place because the thing is success isn't something you get once and then it's done it's something you have to fucking re-earn every day and if you forget that it will all come crashing down on you now to give you guys an example in august so this month I've actually lost around 40% of total revenue from my marketing agency. And look, some of that lost revenue wasn't in my control, but some of it was. And some of it was because I got so numb to what brought me to success in the first place, which is constantly being a student, constantly keeping my ego intact, not staying comfortable, constantly learning. And as I say, keeping myself as a student, that, that is what brought me success in the first place. But the problem with comfort is it breeds complacency. Because as I said, when you think you have everything that you need even want then you've hit the glass ceiling there's nowhere left to go so this video plays two roles number one to warn those people who are starting to get a little bit of success and starting to take it for granted kind of like i did or for those of you that are actually having a lot of success right now and you guys are getting comfortable and complacent because as i said like look when you're making like 25k a month 50k a month like why push yourself any further there's just no need to the only reason there is is to fulfill your highest potential and if that means enough to you then you need to trick yourself as to why you need to push past this boundary push it past this barrier and literally it's a constant struggle every day to trick your brain but all i would say to those people that are comfortable including myself as i said these last like month and a half is are you really fulfilling your greatest potential you've been given such a blessing that is life and are you really gonna waste it away just coasting by and i guess that's the question that i had to pose to myself this past couple of days and the answer is most certainly no because for whatever reason i live in this world with so much fucking opportunity and that that's something that's been given to me and there's billions of other people that will never have that same privilege so look as i said this is just i don't even know what the topic of this video really is it's more just a brain dump and you guys really seem to like sort of the off the cuff what's going on in my head right now sort of videos and i probably should show you guys more of that and i'm gonna try to and as i said you might have a good level of success now but just think about how selfish it would be of you to not fulfill your truest potential that's about it guys